We have a new op-ed and it's titled Fighting to Protect Our Communities from Fentanyl and you're looking for much tougher penalties for dealers. Would that go far to stop the inflow of fentanyl, Congressman? Well, honestly, it's one step of many that we need to take. Uh, I think and, uh, that some of these drug dealers, the people that are, are selling fentanyl-laced pills uh, disguised as other things, are literally committing acts of murder on our young people in this country. So increasing the penalties to those individuals that are committing these crimes, I think is a, a very important part of this, but it's only a small part. We have to, first of all, the precursors for these, for these drugs are coming out of China. We've got to do all we can to get them to stop exporting to Mexico, where they're being infused into different uh, types of pills manufactured into the the drugs that we're seeing coming across our border. We've got to seal the border from that. We've got to do all we can to stop these drugs coming across. And then once they get to this country, gosh, there's so many things that need to happen. Partly well, is increasing penalties for selling this stuff, but we've got to get to the people that are getting hooked on these things, give them the, the counseling, the kind of uh, treatment that's necessary to get them off of them. Well, and then one encouraging thing that I've learned about, that there's several organizations that are reaching out to the younger children so we can get to them before they get hooked on, on, on these kinds of drugs. I don't have to tell you, this has become a scourge in our country. In the last 12 months, over 100,000 yeah. people have died of drug yeah. overdoses. We've got to do something.